I think it's about time that we prettied up this picture, don't you, fellas? I agree with you. Don't you agree? Yeah. Okay, here's lovely Leslie Gore. <laughs> dreamed last night I got on the boat to heaven and by some chance I had brought my dice along and there I stood and I hollered someone fade me but the passengers they knew right from wrong and the people all said sit down sit down you're rocking the boat Sit down, sit down, you're rocking the boat Or the devil will drag you under By the sharp lapel of your checkered coat Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down Sit down, you're rocking the boat And as I laughed at those passengers I had a great big wave Came and washed me overboard The moment I woke up, thank the Lord. And the people all said, sit down, sit down, you're rocking the boat. People all said, sit down, sit down, you're rocking the boat. And the devil will drag you under with a soul so heavy you'll never float. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, you're rocking the boat. If you sit down, tell you what I'm gonna do. You'll just sit down I'm gonna build a mountain From a little hill I'm Gonna build a mountain At least I hope I will Push that daydream up the mountain slope. Gonna build a daydream. Gonna see it through. The mountain daydream. Gonna make them both come true. Gonna build a heaven from a little hell. Gonna build a heaven and I know damn well. Gonna build my mountain and I know damn well. Push my daydream up the mountain. Next to Shelley, we would clash something awful, wouldn't we? Yes, you, that's right. The two I colors. wouldn't clash with you. I just removed my coat. How oh, just... And I'd let you walk feel out across the Feel this material. What is it? Is Wait it a minute. Let me it? feel what? Feel, what is it, Shelley? You would know better than us. It's velveteen. Oh, it's velveteen. Velveteen. The senator knows velveteen. It feels right. fantastic. It is, is it velveteen? Yes. Our Navajo squaws make Underneath their jackets skin. out of that. Really? It's terrific and it's warm. The last time you were here, I tell you, it looked good from behind too. Thanks. Well, you saw that. We're, fun, we're finding out a lot about the city today. Are, aren't we? I just, I just never noticed that. <laughs> did you know what happened last time I was here? You were, you thought you had the mumps, or I did, did you? I did have the mumps. You had the mumps? Well, we were hysterical. Julie LaRosa, I called him immediately That's, because he was on the by show. By the way, that night Arnold Palmer was on the show. Yeah. Sure. He was on the show, and uh, who else? George Carlin was here, oh. and. Um, Julie called me and said, geez, I hear you have the mumps. What should I do? I found out that men 
are very hypochondriacal. Judy was really not very scared. Not only that. No, no, no. Yeah. No, it's just well, that a man I... shouldn't get... Man has worse trouble with mums. Oh, terrible yes. trouble. Terrible trouble, I know. And <laughs> terrible. <laughs> so, you know, they're much more afraid of mumps than women. But I, I, uh, I could have given the mumps to a lot of people. You were very lucky. I've had them on both sides. Wonderful. Yes. I had mumps. Did on you? Both sides. Yeah, both sides of the family. Then... <laughs> have you ever had the mumps? Oh, Sorry. yeah. I think they're not attractive. They're not later. attractive. How long were you out of circulation with the mumps? About ten days. What do you tell your friends, like a fella calls you up and says, uh, gee, Leslie, let's go out tonight. And yeah. What do you say? You don't say that, because that sounds very unglamorous. It certainly mumps, does. doesn't it? It certainly does. <laughs> I mean, that's... I, you know, it's what do you like say? Uh, say mumps. You have to say mumps. You can't lie. No, you can't. Oh, you can say you have a virus, which I did. Did you say you had a virus? My telephone service told everybody who called, oh, she's sick, got the mumps. Sorry, she can't talk to you. Oh, that's and terrible. I, yes. Because it does sound... Pretty bad. Sounds very childish. Yes. No, you can't be in love with a girl who has a swollen gland under her chin, you know. You most certainly can. Oh, well, you I'd took argue part... that. <laughs> You'll argue that. I'd argue that. You took part in the moratorium. Yes, yes, I did. Um, I took part in something that I thought was a very, very special day, and uh, I was very proud to be a part of it. I went down to Bryant Park in New York, and uh, there were thousands and thousands of people there, and their expression, the whole attitude of the people there was just wonderful. Everybody was seated on the ground and popcorn was being passed around and if you were stuck in a corner, people would move over and they would ask on the people. No PA problems at all? There wasn't... No mob problem? There were no problems at all. The, the crowds were very peaceful and very, very understanding to what the problems were of working outdoors and trying to get all these people on. And uh, I had a very, I had a different feeling about you the didn't moratorium. feel that you were aiding and abetting the enemy in any way? I kind of felt we were helping President Nixon in a sense. Mm -hmm. And I saw, and I was very happy to see a lot of American flags there, and a lot of people with flags on mm -hmm. their backs carrying flags. So I think a lot of people don't feel that the moratorium is necessarily against President Nixon. I certainly don't. They're planning another one in mid-November, aren't they? November 15th? Yes, they are, November 15th, which I'm also taking part in. We have some meetings tomorrow on it, in fact. What are the meetings like? What, what do you discuss? Well, the problem with the next moratorium is to make it better than the first, otherwise it will lose its momentum. And uh, I think uh, that it's going to be a large problem because last time was so, so nice. It was such a lovely feeling. And we all, we all pray to God that there is no violence during these things because it would certainly defeat everybody's purpose. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about what this young lady has said about that? Well, I, I can agree 100% with people like Miss Gore. I know thousands of people that feel the same way, that uh, really got a spiritual feeling out of the, the moratorium. My only argument is that it does tend to give the enemy the wrong impression. Well, and I've, this is very hard for us to understand yeah. because we're used to this. Well, I've thought about that also for a while, and I, I accept your opinion that it was bad timing. But then I wondered, the war has been going on for a while. It could continue to go on for a while. The negotiations have been going on for a while. They could easily go on for a while. In essence, what you're saying is there should not have been a moratorium day because there probably is no good timing for it. Well, in essence, what I'm saying you'd probably disagree with because as I said on the program the last time I was here, this war need never have started. But go. having started, it need never have gone more than six months had we used our force the way that we should use it. And the reason it's been prolonged is because of uh, trying to fight a limited war, restraining our military, and uh, having moratoriums on bombings and moratoriums, moratoriums on everything else. Uh, I'm convinced that the president is headed in the right direction. Now, I once told him he wouldn't go my direction, but my direction would end that war in a whale of a hurry. Mm -hmm. uh, and I th I'm surprised to find the young people who tend to agree with me. We don't like war. We're very cognizant of the young people's feelings. My mail by 10 to 1 is on the subject of Vietnam. And I just hope that the next moratorium can be peaceful, quiet, and that we don't do anything that uh, can set the whole cause back. Well, I learned one very important thing the day of the moratorium. There is such a thing as peace, and if we ever achieve it, it will be a marvelous thing. It was a beautiful day. It would be. We're all coming right back, right after this. Mm -hmm.